Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to create Cricut Scorecard interface design in Photoshop. Before getting started, you can download all the files used in this tutorial. Link in the description, download it, use it. If you got any doubt, let me know in the comment section. I'll help you. In case if you want that completely designed .psd file means, hit the like button. Soon after reaching 100 likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First create a new canvas in Photoshop. I am going with a 4K size 38 by 40 and 21 by 60. I will keep the resolution as 150. Now create a canvas. So now our canvas is ready. Next we are going to bring in a screenshot image. For that go to the folder you downloaded. There you will see a image. Screenshot image open the file inside Photoshop. Drag and drop and place the image inside our canvas. By enabling free transform tool. Resize the image. Fine, I'll settle with this one. Next, we are going to create rectangle shape. For that, create a layer and place it inside a folder. I'll name the folder as design. Now go to color picker, select black color. Now go to shapes tool and select rounded rectangle tool. This one. Now give a click and create a shape which reads 570 by 173. I'll keep the radius as 30 pixels. Now click OK. Fine, now our rectangle shape is ready. Next I'm going to tilt the image a little bit for that enable free transform tool control T in the Height option, I'm going with minus 14 and we'll get a such kind of slanting effect. Now enable free transform tool and move the shape and place it somewhere here. Fine. Next we are going to add gradient overlay effect. For that, select the layer, right click, blending option, go to gradient overlay, select the fourth one, this one. On the right side, I'm going with color FEF. 73b on the right side i'm going with color 2f 923f click ok i'll keep the opacity as 100 i'll keep the angle as 0 disable the reverse in case it was enabled and i'll keep the scale as 150 you will get such effect next we're going to add bevel impose effect select bevel impose I'll keep the style as enable, technique smooth, depth as 230, size 14, soften 0. I'm not going to change the angle. In the glass contour, I'm going to select rounded step, this one. In the highlight mode, I'm going with screen white color, I'll keep the opacity as 16. And the shadow mode, I'm going with multiply, I'll keep the color as 529C37. And I'll reduce the opacity to 34. Now click OK. Fine, now our bar is ready. I'll name it as base 1. Fine, next we are going to bring in our team logo. Before that, let's create a duplicate copy. Disable the base 1. I'll name it as 1. This layer. Now right click, rasterize the layer style. Okay, the reason I'm doing so is so that we can clip mask the image now go to the folder open image one inside photoshop drag and drop the image make sure to place it right above the layer one now right click and clip mask the image now by enabling free transfer transform tool i'll increase the size fine i'll settle with this one now i'm going to reduce the opacity down to 80 percent Fine, now we are done with the design part. We are going to add our text for that create a layer. Place it inside a folder. I'll name the folder as text. Now go to color picker, select white color. The font I'm using is a free font. I'll give link in the description. You can download it. Enable text tool and I'm going with size 73 and type the team name. Fine, next we are going to create scorecard shapes. Now go to the design folder, create a layer. Now place the layer right below the design folder. 
Okay, I'll name it as scope. Now go to color picker. So like black color. Now again pick the round rounded rectangle tool. This one give a click, create a shape which reads 451 by 150. I'll keep the radius as 20 pixels. Click OK. Now enable free transform tool, move the shape, place it somewhere here. Make sure it is placed at the center. Fine. Now we are going to add gradient effect. Now right click blending option. Select gradient overlay. In that, select the fourth one. On the left side, I'm going with color FFCE23. Click OK. Now I'll create a color stop here now i'll change the color to ff ff00 next on the right side i'll go with color fad337 now adjust the color stop position click ok now i'll reduce the sorry i'll reduce the scale down to 59 I'll keep the angle as 90 and I'll enable the reverse option. Now click OK. Next, we're going to create another rectangle shape here for power player. For that, create a layer. Now bring the layer below the score layer. I'll name it as power play. Now go to color picker, select black color. Now select rounded rectangle tool. Give a click and create a shape which reads 125 by 113. I'll keep the radius as 10 pixels. Now our shape is ready. I'll place it somewhere here. Fine. Now let's change the color for that. Double click the thumbnail. I'm going with color 4E9B38. Click OK. Now we are done with the design part. Now we are going to add our text. For that, go to the text folder. Enable text tool. Now I'll create a duplicate copy of the text we created previously. I'll change the color to black. I'm going with the same font. I'll reduce the size down to 68. Fine, next I'll create another duplicate copy, Control J. I'll change it as power play to P2. I'll reduce the size down to 44. I'll change the color to white. Now place it at the center here. Fine, now we are done with the left side part. Let's move to the right side. For that, go to the design folder. Now create a duplicate copy of that base one layer, Control J. I'll place it somewhere here. I'll name it as base two. Now enable free transform tool. Move the shape by holding shift key. Now enable free transform tool. Flip it horizontally and place it somewhere here. Fine. Now we are going to change the color for that right click blending option. Go to color overlay. Here we are going to change the color. On the left side, I'm going with color 35A8F8. On the right side, I'm going with some kind of dark blue, which is 0650A5. Click OK. Next, we are going to create a duplicate copy of this layer. Control J. I'll disable the base tool. Now, right click. Rastro is the layer style. I'll name it as 2. The reason we are doing is so that we can clip max the image. Now go to the folder you downloaded, open image to inside Photoshop, drag and drop the image and place it inside our canvas. Make sure to place it right above layer 2. Right click, clip max the image. Now enable free transform tool and resize the image. I'll give a slight rotation. 
fine now reduce the opacity to 80 percent so now we are almost done next we are going to create a batsman score bowler and other information bar here now close all the folders now create a layer i'll name it as bar now go to color picker going with white color select the rounded rectangle tool give a click now create a rectangle bar which reads 2510 by 157 i'll keep the radius as 20 pixels click ok now move the shape and place it somewhere here make sure to have a little space between the bar and the power play shape this one ok next we are going to add our gradient overlay effect for that right click blending option select gradient overlay select the fourth one on the left side i'm going with solid white color on the right side i'm going with color c4 c f d9 click ok i'll keep the opacity as 69 percent i'll enable the reverse i'll change the angle to 90 i'm going with the same linear style i'll reduce the scale down to 59 percent okay next we're going to add a stroke enable stroke i'm going with the white color i'll change the size to 2 and keep the position as outside now click ok so now we are done with the design part next we are going to add our text information for that go to the text folder create a duplicate copy of the text we created previously i'll reduce the font size here I'm going with size 47. Now I'm going to type batsman and bowler name. Now I'll reduce the balls information text size to 33. Let's keep it a little bit smaller. Fine. Now I'll create a duplicate copy. Control J. I'll edit the text. Next, I'll get another duplicate copy. This one is for bowler information. Again, I'll reduce the font size here. Now, I'll change the bowler name color. I'm going with the color 065085, some kind of dark blue color. Now adjust the spacings. As a final step, we are going to create balls information text. Sorry, designs. For that, we are going to create a layer. I'll place it inside a folder. I'll name the folder as balls. Now we are going to create circle shapes. Now go to color picker. I'm going with the same color 065085 dark blue color. Now select ellipse tool give a click and create a circle shape which reads 69 by 69 place it here now i'm going to create a five duplicate copies by using keyboard shortcut ctrl j now make sure the spacings are even Fine, next we are going to add our text information for the creator layer. I'm going with white color here. I'm going, I'm going to use the very same font, but I'll reduce the font size down to 28. Now type your balls information. I'm going with first one as 4. I'll create a duplicate copy, Control J. This one has no ball. I'll reduce the font size here, 24. So we are going to have a unique design for balls it to be bowled for that select the fifth one this one I'll disable the fill right click blending option enable stroke I'll keep the size as 7 make sure the position is inside 
on the color option I'm going to select the same dark blue color by sampling it from here click ok so we're going to have this design for balls it to be bold click ok now I'm going to right click copy the layer style place the same layer style for the sixth one this one paste layer style there you go so now our Cricut scorecard interface design is ready So that's it guys, I hope this video is useful to you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. For more tutorials, subscribe to our channel, click the bell icon. Thanks for watching, take care.